Welcome. I'm going to show you how to integrate MailChimp with your HTML form in your static website or your WordPress website or any other CMS so you don't have to download a plugin or have to do any crazy customizations. Find the form you want to track and then go to MailChimp, go to your audience tab and in here you're going to go to a to the audience you want so you may have like general contact newsletter a course that you're offering and then you click on it and it'll bring you to the options that you have available you go to sign up forms go to embedded forms and then and then you're gonna go to uh, give me a second. Oh, you're gonna go right here. So this is the HTML code for your for your template. Paste it into your atom so you can see the fields that you need. And you don't need to save this because it's always in Mailchimp. So if you need it, you can find it from there. All right, so all you're gonna need is the name over here and the ID and the action. So let me show you. Let me open my HTML website. And this works for WordPress too, if you're wondering, because you can also have an HTML form on a WordPress website. Okay, so just go to your index.html, find the form. Not that one, so this one. Okay, so you're gonna copy the action from here onto here. And paste. And you're gonna need to copy the method the ID, the name, and the class, target, and the no validate in there. So you may just copy and delete everything else that's in there. If there's a class name in your form already, I would leave it because you don't want to lose any styles. And also if there's an ID, I would leave it. But otherwise, you can replace all the settings inside the form tag. Then you're going to go to find the text field that you want to edit for example the email address and you're gonna change the e name to email all caps because that's how MailChimp has it then where is it at? oh it's probably a different form okay so this is the general contact form so here I have a placeholder for email name for email so this is where you would copy it ID is email and that's all you need right now and you would do that same thing for name for the first name last name message phone number address city whatever you want to collect from them this is how you would do it you change it from the name field within the input tag and then at the end you gotta add this div so it's kind of like a filter I think that MailChimp has I don't know I'm not exactly sure but I would just just add it so you can have it in there and add it at the bottom of your form it's an error and success response so if someone made a successful response you want them to know they have an error add them as well and I would just add it right below the uh, send message and that's it I hope that helps you and thanks for watching